The organization that won this year's Nobel Peace Prize believes that the honor can bring about a bigger global movement against the use of nuclear weapons. The international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons was awarded the coveted prize for drawing attention to the catastrophic humanitarian consequences of any use of nuclear weapons and for groundbreaking efforts to create and establish a treaty banning nuclear weapons. The landmark treaty will only come into force with at least 50 countries ratifying it. A project the newly minted Peace Prize winners have very much on their radar. His Excellency the President of South Africa. South Africa was among the first countries to sign the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons when it opened for signatures last month, a task made possible in no small measure by ICANN, working with friendly countries that seek the elimination of nuclear weapons completely. It's really a great honor for ICANN to be awarded the 2017 Nobel Peace Prize. It was awarded in recognition of our role to bring about the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons and to mobilize people all over the world uh, to campaign against nuclear weapons. And this prize is really in honor of all of those people who have fought tirelessly against nuclear weapons, sometimes ignored, and very small organizations, lots of volunteers and committed people uh, all over the world. They believe that despite the lack of support of all nuclear weapon states, and at a time when a nuclear arms race, particularly in North Korea, has created growing unease around the world, that the treaty marks the beginning of the end for weapons of mass destruction. This is a moment of uh, incredible tension globally. Uh, we have heard in recent weeks in this very building threats to use nuclear weapons. There are still more than 15,000 in existence around the world and unless we work now to eliminate them, it's almost certain that they'll be used again. This treaty offers an alternative to a world in which threats of mass destruction are allowed to prevail. We hope that the award of the Nobel Peace Prize will help us in our campaigning to get countries to sign and ratify this vital international agreement. While more than 50 countries have signed the treaty, only three have ratified it to date. For it to come into force, more than 50 countries must sign and then ratify the treaty, which generally entails a legislative process where treaties are domesticated international law. And while some powerful nuclear weapon states have criticized the treaty as unlikely to lead to effective progress on global nuclear disarmament, it's groups like ICANN now with a Nobel Peace Prize to boot who believe appealing directly to a nation's citizenry is where the real change will begin. Sherman Briceby's SABC News, New York.